just wanted to do a video uh, opening up the Atlas Sound MS25E mic stand. It's the 25E because this is the ebony uh, version. The MS25 is just chrome. You can get that one as well. Uh, seemed like the much more popular version, but you know what they say. There's no accounting for taste. So we see inside got a lot of got a lot of uh, packing material, plastic packing material. Get all that out. And I saw this mic stand at a. I first saw it at a recording studio, uh, where I was doing some vocal work, and uh, I was amazed at how sturdy the base of this stand was. It had a big mic on top. Here, here's that sturdy stand. Really heavy. So that's it. That's all that's in the box. So like I was saying, I saw this mic stand in use at a recording studio and I was amazed at how sturdy it seemed. When I saw it in use, it had a Shure SM7B mic mounted on it in addition to a huge heavy reflector shield. So opening this up, this box a little awkward. So once we get that open, we pretty much just see the stand and the base, which is really heavy, but which is good, makes the mic stand sturdy. That's what I was looking for with this mic stand, something that could really hold a lot of weight because I'm planning on mounting a, a Shure SM7B microphone on it along with a reflector shield and a pop filter. I want it to still be sturdy. I'll show you guys that setup uh, once I get this fully set up. So here's the here's the stand. If I can adjust it this way by loosening this part, tighten it again here, make it stand. Feels pretty sturdy. Feels pretty good. Really tighten that. Now I'll open up the base. It's triangular. Just feels like a big solid piece of iron or something. Well, that didn't go exactly as planned, so if you look at that guy. Here's the top part. Kind of just seems um cosmetic. Largely, you get this chrome piece. So, there you go. And here's the base. Really solid and heavy. Feels really good. You got the Atlas logo right there. It doesn't tell you the weight, but man, I'd say it's like verging on 50 pounds. I don't know. Clear all this out of the way. And let's get this guy set up. Put that top chrome piece on. And then it's just a matter of fitting the mic part in and screwing it in. Get that nice and tight so that chrome piece is in place. And it feels real sturdy. Real sturdy. You could you really gotta apply a lot of force to knock this over. As you can now see, I have uh, set up on the mic stand, a big reflector shield, a pop filter, and additionally, a heavy mic, the SM7B. That's a Shure SM7B, um, if you see that. I think this is probably the ideal setup, and as you can see, the stand easily supports uh, all of this additional weight on top. It still feels sturdy. Everything uh, screwed tightly into the stand. I just, all I really did with the stand was screw in the reflector shield right here and put this this piece sticking out. This piece came with the reflector shield and is a little wobbly. I'm uh, going to have to secure that some way because the SM7B is an especially heavy mic. But uh, I'll figure that out. Uh, otherwise, very happy with the stand. 
just what I was looking for, something really sturdy that I don't have to worry about tipping or falling over. Uh, just for reference, this is my old stand. Um, just a crappy, you know, mic stand you'd probably use live. It's not even ideal for that, but it gets the job done. But once you put, uh, once you put the SM7B on top of this guy, it just tips over. So there it is, the uh, Atlas Sound MS25E, the Ebony model. Looking forward to using this. All right, have a good one, guys. Thank you.